Hi there, my name is Amanda Carr. I am a collection development librarian for the Adult Services Department at the Lake Villa District Library in Lake Villa, Illinois. We're still, um, the library is still temporarily closed for COVID and quarantine time. So you're joining me again today in my kitchen. So welcome. So this week I have a really fantastic five, what I would call a five star book that is available to you on Hoopla. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded the Hoopla app, all you need is your Lake Villa District Library card and an email address. Don't panic if you don't already have a library card, just reach out to us and we're able to give you a temporary card to get you through quarantine. You can reach out to us at refdesk at lvdl.org or at the library 847-356-7711. And any other reference questions, feel free to pass along. We'll reach out and get you an answer in about 24 hours. Okay, so today's book is available as an ebook or as an e-audio book, which you could listen to during quarantine. And I read this probably probably two weeks ago. It's called The Mountain Sing. And the author is Vietnamese, so I apologize if I botch her name, but I believe you pronounce it Gwyn Phan Gue Mai. And Gue Mai is a Vietnamese novelist as well as being a poet. So this book is written um, so lyrically, so poetically, it's so beautiful. Um, while being devastatingly sad because it is about some rough history that Vietnam had, has experienced in the 20th century. Um, but the, her writing really balances out some of the awful things you read about because the words just kind of trip, trip off your tongue and just bounce around your head and just roll on these waves of just gorgeous writing. Um, so the book is a multi-generational family saga. So the action bounces between the grandmother and granddaughter. And through their eyes, we experience a lot of Vietnamese history through the 20th century. We experience the land reform, which was a time when the landowners, uh, wealthy landowners property was confiscated by um, the new folks in power as well as the poor and to be redistributed. And unfortunately, when that was happening and communism was on the rise in the um, 20th century, it was an extremely violent and bloody time for Vietnam. So we experienced that. We experienced the beginning of what we call the Vietnamese War, or excuse me, the Vietnam War. We watched the granddaughter's parents go off on the Ho Chi Minh Trail to fight. And, you know, we know from a 21st century perspective how that war devastated the Vietnamese people, their country, um, the after effects of Agent Orange. And we experience all of this through this book. And it, again, it's, it's a very hard topic. Um, it's devastating to read about, but the writing is excellent and the story really draws you in. And I was uh, telling my husband, as hard as the story was to read, it really sucked me out of quarantine and took me somewhere else and let me experience something else through someone else's eyes. And isn't that why we all seek out fiction? Um, so some read likes for you, if I haven't sold you yet with my recommendation. Um, but poss you possibly like some of these other books I'm gonna mention. This might be the book for you after all. Um, this would be a great book for folks who liked Home Going by Ya Jase, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee, or On Earth Were Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vaughn. Those would all be books that um, if you enjoyed those, you might enjoy The Mountain Sing. Show you the cover again. Otherwise, that's all I've got for you today. I hope everyone is staying safe and well. We miss you during quarantine. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Otherwise, happy reading, and I'll see you in another week. Take care.